The Muslim Minority Paradox Fear, Identity, and Integration in Europe In recent years, the presence of Muslim minorities in European countries has become a focal point of debate, especially in countries like the United Kingdom, France, and Sweden. Although Muslims represent a small fraction of the total population in the UK, there is a disproportionate level of fear, skepticism, and concern surrounding them. To understand this fear, one must delve into historical, socio-political, and cultural contexts that have shaped this sentiment. These concerns are often tied to broader issues of immigration, national identity, security, and the role of Islam in secular societies. By comparing the situation in the UK with countries like France and Sweden, it becomes clear that these fears are driven by a combination of factors, ranging from media portrayals to political discourse and past colonial histories. Historically, the British Empire was home to a large Muslim population, particularly in South Asia. The empire's extensive colonies, especially in India, meant that Muslims played a role in the colonial economy, military, and administrative systems. This historical connection has left an indelible mark on the relationship between Britain and its Muslim subjects. Many Muslims migrated to the UK after World War II, driven by economic opportunities and the promise of a better life in the former imperial center. However, as their numbers grew, so did societal anxieties, particularly among white Britons who feared that this influx would change the cultural and religious landscape of the country. One of the primary reasons for fear in the UK is linked to concerns about national security and terrorism. In the post-9-11 world, Muslims have often been unfairly associated with extremism and radicalism. High-profile terrorist attacks in the UK, such as the 7-7 bombings in London in 2005, have heightened these fears. These events fueled a narrative that framed Muslims as potential threats despite the fact that only a tiny fraction of the Muslim population is involved in extremist activities. The fear is further exacerbated by the media, which frequently portrays Muslims in a negative light. Sensationalist headlines and images contribute to a skewed perception, making the Muslim population appear more dangerous and alien than it truly is. Additionally, immigration has become a contentious issue in British politics, particularly in the context of Brexit. Many Britons voted to leave the European Union due to concerns about uncontrolled immigration and its impact on jobs, public services, and national identity. Although much of the debate centered around European migrants, Muslims were often lumped into broader anti-immigration rhetoric. The fear of losing British culture to outsiders has led to the rise of right-wing populism with figures such as Nigel Farage and political parties like the UK Independence Party, UKIP, stoking these anxieties. Muslims, as a visible minority with distinct religious and cultural practices, often become scapegoats in this narrative, even though they represent only around 6% of the population. In comparison, France's relationship with its Muslim minority is shaped by its colonial past, particularly in North Africa. Like the UK, France has a long history of Muslim migration, but its secular republican values make the integration of religious minorities particularly challenging. France's strict interpretation of secularism, or laïcité, has often come into conflict with the religious practices of its Muslim population. This tension is most visible in debates over the wearing of religious symbols, such as the hijab, in public spaces. In 2004, France banned the wearing of overt religious symbols in public schools, a move that was seen by many Muslims as an attack on their religious freedom. In addition to issues of secularism, France has also experienced a number of terrorist attacks in recent years, including the Charlie Hebdo shooting in 2015 and the Bataclan attacks later that year. These incidents, like the attacks in the UK, have reinforced fears of radical Islam. However, the French response to these fears has been more focused on assimilation, with the government pushing for greater integration of Muslims into the secular fabric of society. The French fear is not just about security, but also about the preservation of a unified national identity.
In this sense, the fear of Muslims in France is as much about cultural assimilation as it is about security. Sweden, on the other hand, presents a different case. Although it has a smaller Muslim population than France or the UK, Sweden has been at the center of the European refugee crisis. Between 2015 and 2016, Sweden took in a disproportionately high number of refugees compared to other European countries, many of whom were Muslims fleeing conflicts in Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. This rapid influx of refugees has led to a rise in anti-immigrant sentiment, with the Sweden Democrats, a far-right political party, gaining popularity. The fear in Sweden is less about terrorism and more about the perceived strain on public services, housing, and social cohesion. Some Swedes fear that the large number of Muslim refugees could change the cultural fabric of their society, leading to tensions between the native population and newcomers. Despite the different contexts in the UK, France, and Sweden, there are common themes that explain the fear of Muslims in these countries. One of the key factors is the perception of Muslims as an other, a group that is fundamentally different from the majority population. This perception is reinforced by cultural practices such as wearing the hijab, observing Ramadan, and following Islamic dietary laws, all of which set Muslims apart in visibly noticeable ways. In secular societies where religion plays a diminished role in public life, such overt religious practices can be seen as threatening to the social order. Moreover, the rise of Islamist extremism globally has made it easier for some to conflate religious observance with radicalism. The role of the media cannot be understated in shaping these fears. In all three countries, Muslims are often portrayed as outsiders, with the media focusing on issues such as terrorism, extremism, and cultural clashes. This negative portrayal reinforces stereotypes and fuels a sense of fear among the non-Muslim population. Politicians, particularly those on the far right, have also capitalized on these fears for political gain. By framing Muslims as a threat to national security and identity, they have been able to rally support from voters who feel alienated or disillusioned with the status quo. At the same time, it is important to recognize that these fears are not representative of the entire population in these countries. Many Britons, French, and Swedes are supportive of their Muslim neighbors and advocate for policies of inclusion and diversity. Grassroots organizations, civil society groups, and activists work tirelessly to combat Islamophobia and promote understanding between different religious and cultural groups. However, the fears that do exist are often amplified by the media and politicians, creating a distorted picture of the actual threat posed by the Muslim minority. In conclusion, the fear of Muslims in countries like the UK, France, and Sweden is driven by a complex interplay of historical, political, and cultural factors. In the UK, fears about terrorism and national identity are prominent, while in France, Concerns about secularism and cultural assimilation dominate. In Sweden, the fear is more about the impact of immigration on social cohesion. In all cases, however, the Muslim minority is often portrayed as an other that threatens the established order, even though they represent only a small fraction of the population. These fears are fueled by the media, politicians, and broader societal anxieties about immigration, security, and national identity. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for addressing the root causes of Islamophobia and promoting a more inclusive and tolerant society.